be more than an hour and a half. <laughs> and the next course. But I'm a late turn, and I had a heavy day, so I thought I'd do the light refreshment that backs up that uh, Discovery Channel movie, which was done in the light hearted way. So I really intended to uh, have that movie made for America so I could promote the duties of Scotland, so people could come fishing out there. It went on well. The AGM was in uh, my aspect of it. First of all, I'd like to thank the organizers here. And uh, I've got my little family here, the first I've made shot of the year. And uh, Graham McLean and uh, Dominic and Ben Barbasters. And the man that we're very, very power behind the throne here with uh, Marty and Finnegan, uh, uh, friends which we'll get back to. Uh, but that marvelous job of getting you all here the right place the right time. <coughs> Anyhow, what I'm going to tell you about is uh, what is really a, a tiny acorn which we played a part of this in 1965. It's now become well, you're, the, you're the tree. And I am told that there are nearly a million people in the world involved in handling ATMs, money, and all systems go with it. And the trade turnover is $14 billion a year. So what started as an idea of the format has turned into a massive industry. Well, you are it. You know. So it's not often in life one gets the chance to start with a small idea and once you grow. It all started uh, one uh, Saturday when I tried to get some money out the bank. Um, like most people, I had my bank account in where I worked. And on Saturdays, I would get the cash to spend wildly on the Saturday afternoon. Um, bank arrangements were, I had to be there by 12 30. I tipped up there at 12 31, while the bank was firmly shut in my face. And I thought to myself, geez, there must be some way of getting in my money in my own time. So I, in my bath that night, this was a Saturday night, in my bath that night I thought of what I described as a chocolate bar dispenser. Don't forget this was an offline system, nothing was working online in those days, and credit cards hadn't been invented in Britain. Uh, it was before the day of the credit card or online networks. So the logical thing to do was to use the existing trading system, i.e. a check trading system. These that was my thinking at the time. And I could use the check input with security ingredients, like carbon 14, the target energy stuff, and a coded panel, and a pin number. And it was a pin number, and that's my story. I reckon that people who could remember six to go pin uh, would like to remember my army number, the British army number was 346270. I reckon if I could remember that, then anyone could. I took that out of Caroline, my wife was here uh, that, that night and said, How about I'm six week up here? She said, I can't remember more than four. <laughs> okay, I said, So let's see. Literally, we change the spec from six to four. Now we take a look at the real standard.
I was wearing my other hat, I was chairman of another truck. The first other truck I've been here for that, so I set up with one truck, two trucks, so I had to have two in 1960, February 1960, first two other trucks in Europe. And uh, I had, by this time, I'd got a monopoly. I was carrying all the money in Britain in my own truck company. And every Friday, every other Friday, fourth Friday, I'd have a bad general manager in the bank for lunch to keep it quiet, fill it full of booze, and uh, give a small business. And this term, my share charts, is marked this term. And, uh, and I was chairing all the barges. I was servicing 2,000 branches every day. It's not a big operation to be money And uh, I said to Harold Gardner, after the first piece of gin at lunch, I got a wacky idea. This thing was on a truck. Stand to one side, give me 90 seconds of your time. And the boy got sorry. 82 seconds later, according to my wife, I feel him suicide. He turned on me and says, Christ, if you could do that, we'll buy it. I said, what? I have no idea what I can do. I think I can. And this was, I had that idea on Saturday, saw the bank on Friday. On Monday, the chief executive of the bank like, gets in the Rolls Royce and came out to see me. Now, that was not going to happen. You're at the top of the fourth biggest bank in the world to come and see you. <laughs> so when he says, I want to place all the six machines, followed by 250, at uh, whatever price you set. <laughs> Jesus, you know, the world's all too soft. <laughs> so from an idea on a Saturday morning to a contract nine days later, must be unique in banking. <laughs> <laughs>